Hello everyone, this is Suhaemin and welcome to another new video. Today it is on the 5th of May and I'm currently working on a studio project. I got a lot of loves and comments from you guys on one of my art prints from last shop update which was Bunny's house. So currently I am working on the illustration project again but in a version of a bear. I already shared a few drawings through Instagram post and Twitter to see how our community would react to it. At the moment it looks very positive. I really really appreciated that people in this community and the new people who are currently joining this community loves the kind of drawings and we look like we are having similar taste of art so this is the drawing and the art print of one is a house that i was talking about very earlier and following that i drew more of drawings relevant to bunnies and also i drew and made lots of art print and stickers with a bunny and the bunny's partner a girl for last shop update and this is the house of a bear that i recently drew for the current illustration project in the bunny's house firstly there are some hydrangeas hydrangeas hydrin hydrangeas in the front garden and mini tiny playground with sand and log in the front garden and there are some berries in the backyard and the butterfly is flying in the bear's house firstly the sky is pink and a uh, raven is enjoying his flying and in the front garden there are some uh, morning galleries and little tiny pond and also there are some lemon trees in the backyard so the bear is going to be a new character after the bunny and the goose clara if you can recall the goose loves reading books we created together last year around october so in this project i want to explore much deeper the best house in an imaginative way so that's why i drew another another morning glory garden for the next piece the bunny was invited to his place so that's why she is in his morning glory garden. I really love drawing morning glories lately and I also really really love how they turned out but I'm not sure if I want to print this art because um, because I don't feel like I'm really really happy 100% about the bunny in this piece. I'm still studying and experimenting how I want to draw morning glory gardens but i don't think i would show in this vlog hi everyone i sometimes share my illustration process in all the videos but my drawing process has been updated so i thought it might be nice to share it you guys i don't mean that it is okay to copy my drawing or drawing style and how i draw characters but I want to share how I could grow my art brand with original art to the people who feel art vlog. Whenever I start creating new artwork, I firstly sketch a bunch of ideas to organize a mess in my mind. You probably have experienced art vlog or if you find it is difficult to come up with creative ideas or original ideas then i highly recommend having some time to draw in sketchbook first it does not have to be always pretty i actually really really like referencing untidy sketch when i work on the drawing tablet i used to have too many things in my mind which i wanted to try something new or to redraw my old drawings but I actually didn't know what to draw once I opened the sketchbook. I used to feel like I wasted a lot of time 
since then, I made a new plan, like my own strategy that is writing some keywords on any papers or word documents on my computer or any digital devices like iPad or my phone and picturing a theme that I want to create. Based on them, I explore on Pinterest and save as many posts as possible because the keywords of the theme help me building a direction to the interesting ideas. Picturing illustration projects can be the imaginary words. I draw initial ideas in my sketchbook whenever I create pieces. However, indeed, I don't use completely only imagination, but I need something visual next to me. Because the imagination is not 100% clear, if I don't have references, I also feel like I don't understand clearly how and what to draw. At this point, I don't mean that copying everything from the references, but I find specific part from the reference so that I can work out how to use it for my art and practice a couple of drawings until I find a way that makes me absolutely comfortable to draw. For example, today I wanted to practice the shape of lemons and some parts of lemon trees. Also, I wanted to give the art a personality. To find the references, I looked up photos of real lemon trees, vintage illustration, cottage houses, and peaceful morning vibes. During the sketchbook time, I drew as many as possibly I wish so that I can combine them for the next process. Sometimes, the drawings are not perfect and they are much simplified because I take out lots of detail from the references. Thus, once you decide on an interesting theme, you'd feel very very excited. Try to focus on the theme or the subject, collect the references you might need, and draw in the style you would be stuck with for your art brand. Hello, so it is a few days later and today I'm gonna paint some lemons with gouache. I really like using digital materials but sometimes I like feeling the physical papers and also I love seeing the art on the texture. Last year, very regularly, I used to paint gouache in my sketchbook on the papers and canvases like almost every week for a hobby and I haven't stocked any traditional art pieces on my shop because I wasn't sure if I want to use the materials consistently but this year I'm actually considering of a few very few number of traditional art pieces for my shop what some people want me to do so I thought it might be a nice time to experiment making new art goods. So today I feel like I want to practice painting gouache while working on this current project.
It's really been a while since I painted the gouache last time and talked to you guys at the same time. So I want to share a little bit of how I decide the colors while working on this step. Once I add a color of the main subject, I use colors around the main color. For this painting, yellow is the main color. So whatever I choose, I try not to go too far from yellow. For example, I want to finish this art in warm cozy tone. So when I paint the leaves, I'm gonna make yellowish olive green. And for the rest of the things, I'm thinking of using warm and a little bit of a reddish, brownish, orange, but not too dark. If you use really similar colors in the most of the object in an art piece, it means that the palette creates a vibe. Also, it reduces the number of time to wash your brushes. I personally prefer using the colors on the brush and creating new colors that align with the main focus rather than washing again and again and using too many different colors because I feel like the colors on the painting look clear and fresh if I don't make the water dim and dark. It may not work for some of you guys depending on how you like to paint but this is the way how I'm actually really painting and how this way is bringing this piece to the world right now. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys.
Okay, I just finished the painting and I'm really really happy about how everything turned out. As you guys watched, I tried to paint this art piece in an entirely different way. Honestly, I have not painted in such a tidy and little style for ages, I think since I started, no, since I graduated by high school. When I was a high school student, I definitely, absolutely had to draw in a specific art style to get into a uni, and I really, really didn't like the style. Anyway, this painting is not in the style, and also it is different to my previous gouache paintings. This one is much simpler and I wanted to experiment a new style and I tried to make it similar to my digital illustration. When I painted something in the previous style, I kind of felt weird, like something looks weird in my branding. If you look at my digital illustration or art prints or stickers in my shop, the style, the art style looks different to that painting style. So I felt like I was trying to make two different art businesses even though I didn't intend it. So I thought I should try to fix it and experiment something new today. Not tomorrow, but today. As a result, I'm really really happy that I found this style today. So for checking this process, the whole process of the project again, we are currently dedicating one subject which is lemon in this vlog. So, so far, a few days ago, I drew a bunch of little cute doodles in my sketchbook to develop a bunch of ideas and today I painted gouache illustration referencing the doodles in my sketchbook if you can see and tomorrow I might start working on digital illustration on my tablet When I start the initial sketch in my Procreate for digital illustration, the ideas are mostly come from the random pages from the sketchbook. Usually, I put ugly doodles together in an art board and make the art in a cute way, which also means that most of the drawings are shared on social media and the art prints and stickers from my shop are developed from the initial ideas from the sketchbook. So to conclude about how I create an original artwork and the kicking of an art block, I've trained myself to build an ability to picture written words. That's why I carve time to read books and an ability to find right references, have a sketchbook habit and finally, an ability to develop ugly sketch. So this is the way I use every day to create an art piece. Um, I probably gonna draw more of ideas in my sketchbook, but I'm going to stop vlogging here. Thank you so much for coming and hang on with me today again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful lovely day and I will see you in other videos. Bye!